In this video, we will review how to create endnotes, footnotes, and citations. For the sake of brevity, we will not cover how to properly set up endnotes and footnotes for certain styles. If you need assistance with that, please consult a site such as the Purdue Online Writing Lab. To insert an endnote, position the cursor, click the References tab, and click on Insert EndNote, and you can see that it does put it at the end of the document. Enter the EndNote text. To insert a footnote, again you will position the cursor in the appropriate location, click on Insert Footnote, and then enter the footnote text. And you can see the difference between footnote and endnote. The footnote is at the end of the page instead of the end of the document. Now the next several objectives, configuring EndNote formats, managing footnote locations, modifying footnote numbering, we can take care of all of these different options with the Footnotes dialog box launcher button. So click near the EndNote or the footnote and then click the button. Choose the one that you wish to modify. For footnotes, the location be, can be at the bottom of the page or below the text. You could also choose similar options for endnotes. You can put them at the end of the document or at the end of the section. You can change the numbering format. You can change what it starts at if you need it to start at something other than the beginning like 1 or A. You can set the numbering to be continuous or you can have it restart with each section in the document and then you can apply these changes to the whole document or selected text if you have selected text in this particular example we did not so again just choose footnote or endnote and then set the appropriate options when finished click apply and you can see that changed our endnote notation to insert a citation placeholder click the references tab Click on Insert Citation and then click on Add New Placeholder. Give the placeholder a name and then click OK. Now you can come back to this placeholder later when you know the source information and you can edit that to include it. To insert a citation, click on Insert Citation click on Add New Source, choose the type of source, we will use book for this example, insert an author, enter the book title, enter the year, enter a city, enter a publisher, And if you need additional fields, click on Show All Bibliography Fields. Fill out the desired fields. And then click OK. <clears throat> to insert a bibliography, hold down Control and press End to move to the end of the document. Click Page Layout, click Breaks, and then insert a page break. Enter a title if desired, such as Works Cited. Press Enter. Return to the References tab, click on Bibliography, and then click Insert Bibliography if you want one that's not formatted or you can choose one that has the heading here. And you can see that I have two books that I've used as sources and those have both been inserted. And for our last objective in this section, we need to know how to change citation styles. If you look at it right now, the work cited 
and the citations that we inserted earlier, such as this one, are in MLA format. So if we return to the References tab, we can choose a different style, such as APA. And you can see that it changed it and put the year with it. And then if we look at the bibliography again, you can see that it changed that as well. And this concludes the review for creating endnotes, footnotes, and citations.